Knowing how much CPU your app consumes is important to figuring out how to scale it. Up till now, the way to get the CPU metric in Cloud Foundry has been the CF app command. Doing this on your application will show you what percentage of CPU your app is currently using. For example, in our deployment, we have a single app called Spinner, and doing a CF app on it reveals that we're using about 400% CPU. But where does that value actually come from? To get a better understanding of this, let's see what happens to our CPU metric when there are two apps on the system. Hmm, the original app CPU dropped down to below 200%, but we didn't actually change anything about it. So what happened? The answer is that apps in Cloud Foundry are deployed on machines called Diego cells. Our cell has four cores, so that's a total of 400% CPU to give out to applications. That's why, when we had just one app, it was consuming the maximum amount it could get. And as soon as we deployed another one, it leveled out to about 200% each. This means that the current CPU metric depends on factors that are not visible to the user, like what's the capacity of the Diego so and how many apps are currently on it, which makes it harder for both users and operators to balance CPU resources. So how do we go about making this better? To get a metric that shows how much CPU your application is actually consuming, we'll be using a new feature in Cloud Foundry called CPU Entitlement. To see these metrics, we'll need the CPU Entitlement plugin, which you can find here on GitHub. All you need to do to install it is to go to the releases, pick the platform that you're using, in my case I'm using a Mac, and copy the link. Then just simply type cf install plugin with that URL in your terminal, and you're good to go. The plugin gives you two commands, first of which is cfcpu. Let's compare it to the good old cf app. In this case, cf app tells us that our spinner app is using 0.3%. On the other hand, when you run cfcpu, you get two values, the average usage and the current usage. The current usage is showing 30%, which is completely different than what the cf app is showing. The difference is that the old metric tells you the amount of CPU you're using relative to the total on the host machine, and the new metric tells you how much you're using relative to your entitlement. A key point here is that that entitlement is constant. It depends on your instance size and never changes unless you change that size. So scaling up your memory will also scale up your CPU entitlement relative to it. For example, an app that has 4GB of memory will have twice as much CPU entitlement as an app with 2GB. On a normal system, you can expect to always be able to get 100% of your CPU, no matter what other applications are coming and going from the cell. If there are spare resources on the machine, you'll be allowed to consume over 100% CPU. So let's see how those spare resources are distributed on the Diego cell. Let's say you're a well-behaved application that consumes less than its entitlement most of the time. Since you are behaving so well, you would expect to be able to get the maximum amount of spare CPU resources, right? Well, without the CPU entitlement feature, it really depends on your neighbors, the apps running on the same cell as you are. If you have noisy neighbors that constantly use high CPU, they will restrict the ability of other apps like yourself to occasionally use more CPU when needed. Let's see this in action. In our deployment, those noisy neighbors are spinners 2 through 4, and spinner 1 is a good app. Let's simulate an occasional spike in CPU usage in spinner 1 by spinning it, which means that it will try to use as much CPU resources as it can. You can see its usage rising, but since the resources are not being distributed fairly, all apps get the exact same amount of CPU, even though the noisy ones have gotten way more than their fair share over the course of time which means that if your neighbors are noisy enough, you will never be able to spike over a certain amount of CPU. In order to provide the CPU bandwidth which allows apps to occasionally spike, operators may over-provision resources for Diego cells, which is wasteful, or ban CPU-intensive apps such as Bitcoin miners on public CF platforms. So what did we do to solve this problem? Let's unspin Spinner 1 and redeploy with our new CPU entitlement feature in the background. With this feature, we also introduce throttling on the Diego cells, 
depending on how much an app is entitled to. As we saw before, there are two values in CFCPU, current and average. We use the average usage to split applications into two groups, good and bad. Good applications are the ones that have their average below 100%, and the bad ones have it over 100%. Both good and bad apps, however, always get their entitlement. The difference is in how spare resources are distributed between them. Let's demonstrate how it works. We have the same setup as before, with four applications, three of which are bad. So let's see what the difference is. Let's spin Spinner 1 again, and see if it will get more resources than before. Spinner 1 now gets 276% compared to the 150 it got before. So what happens to the bad apps then? What we see now is that all the spare CPU will be given to the good application that needs it, and the bad apps will get throttled to only what they're entitled to. This will be true as long as the good app has its average under 100%. If its spike is too long, then eventually it will become a bad app itself and will get throttled to 100% if a different good app needs the CPU. This way, resources are distributed more fairly between applications and you won't get affected by noisy neighbors. Finally, if you're an operator and want to see all of the applications that are currently bad in your organization, you can visit the GitHub page of the CPU Entitlement plugin and download the other plugin that we have, the over entitlement instances plugin. You can install it in much the same way. Now, if you run CF over entitlement instances or CFOEI, you will see a list of all of the applications in your currently targeted org that will get throttled. And that's all we have for you today. Do you have any ideas of how we can improve CPU entitlements? Feel free to share your thoughts in the Garden channel on the Cloud Foundry stack.